Hey everybody, it's Ty Inspire and welcome back to the channel. So, let's get the housekeeping out of the way. <laughs> if it's your first time visiting the channel, welcome. I'm so happy you're here and I hope that you find this content today very helpful. If you do, if you find that you do, please hit that like button and subscribe and share it with your friends. We'd love to have you, we'd love to have your friends and we're trying to build. So. Join the family, all right? So without further ado, we're gonna get into the video. Today, I have some information for you guys. I think it's gonna be helpful, I really do. So let's get to it. Wait, before we get to it, let me tell y'all about my shirt, you know? I know y'all seen me wear this shirt. So first of all, I love to wear black. So if you see me in black, you just know, no, I'm not mourning, but I just, I like wearing black. I just do. So um, this is my shirt. This is funny because <laughs> it's a it's a movie. You you see you see it says get them to the Greek. If you've seen that movie before, if you haven't, eh, go watch it. It was cool. But I went to the premiere like years and years and years ago when it first came out, and I got this shirt and I just love it. It has literally traveled everywhere with me. I don't know. It's just cool. I love it. It's great. So just a minute for the shirt. <laughs> anyway, that's just a little commercial break. Oh my God, seriously. <laughs> anyway, let's get to this information. What do you need if you're going to travel to Ghana? I've got five things that I think you definitely need. Number one is tissue. Yes, tissue. You need a small pack that you can put into your bag, into whatever you're carrying, something easy to tote, okay? Because you are gonna need to tote this everywhere you go. Um, I always carry tissue. When I'm here in Ghana, I carry tissue. When I've traveled all over um, to other places and other countries, I've always carried tissue. It's just something that you would just, you always need anyway, you know, you do. So, I think that it's essential for Ghana in particular because um, if you need to go to the restroom when you're not at home, you never know what situation you're going to be in. And most of the time, you will not find tissue. So it's very important that you just carry it with you so you're not caught in a situation, okay? <laughs> so have your tissues ready. Number two is... Neem oil. I still have a little bit left from when I first came. Yes, this is my neem oil. So guys, we all know that malaria is a thing here, okay? It's, it's not a joke. I have seen people have it and yeah. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's not a joke. So make sure that you protect yourself. And this is a very good way to do that. Um, get you some neem oil. I ordered it on Amazon before I came. And you also need another oil to mix with it, all right? So do not just put this directly on your skin by itself. Please, you can use almond oil as a good mixer. Um, castor oil is a good mixer. I think I had castor oil. Put a few drops of the neem, more of the castor, and then just rub it all over your body, okay? And it will protect you for probably up to about eight hours, and then you'll need to reapply. So if you're going out in the morning, apply. When you come back in before you change for the night scene, you know, go ahead and put some more on. Um, if you're not gonna be outdoors, then I wouldn't worry about it so much, but yeah, especially if you're gonna be out at night, you definitely want to lather up okay and be safe i've never had malaria <sighs> let's pray that it stays that way but um I'm, I'm constantly aware of it and i try to protect myself as much as possible i mean i do get bit a lot but i do what i can to protect and especially if you're it's your first time coming here that's something you definitely want to do um as far as pills and stuff i'm not putting that on the essential list because I kind of want to talk about, well, it's still prevention. But I did take pills when I when I first came here. I did it once I got to Ghana, 
I haven't taken any more since. Um, it's something that you can do. You can get pills when you get here. If you're going to take anything, I suggest you just do it once you get here and I think you'll be okay. But get the neem oil, get another oil to mix with it and lather up and you should be just fine. Okay, all right. <laughs> Number three on the list is money. Okay, so we know you gotta bring money, right? But when you are bringing your dollars, your American currency, please make sure that they are new bills, okay? New bills, crisp, not bent up, not looking ugly, clean, crisp, new bills. If you don't, chances are you will not be able to exchange them. I'm not exactly sure why that is. So don't ask me why. If you know why, put it in the comments. But I mean, I guess it's not even really that important because the important thing is to know that you do need new crisp bills when you come to exchange, all right? The bigger the bill is, the better. I think the smaller, like one, two, like not two, but $1 bills and stuff, I'm not even sure they'll take that. So your bigger bills are gonna be much better and just make sure they're new and clean and crisp, all right? prevent any problems <laughs> all right um now if you don't and you have some bills that they do not take um you may be able to get them exchanged in other places so it's still an option but you know just be prepared so you don't have to try to go that route <laughs> all right number four is bag so when you're going around and you're doing the tourist thing and you're looking, you you know, you want to make sure you keep yourself protected. So ladies in particular, this is for you. Okay. So make sure you have a small bag. Most of us, I think, do do that anyway. Like you're going to carry a small bag, something that's going to go around your body. Um, I prefer in the daytime to use the sling bag. So it's just going to go across one side of your body and they're very easy to kind of just pull in the front of you if you want it to be or it can be in the back of you so if you're like at the markets or something like that you'll want to kind of pull it in the front of you so that you know what's going on with it at all times and then you know if you want it on the back it you can do that too um i'm a backpack girl i like backpacks as well um so i do carry those too but if you're gonna be in a very busy area, you might wanna flip it around to the front of you so that you can keep an eye on it, especially in the markets here because they are packed with people and crazy, as we all know, so yes. Now, there are theft-proof or anti-theft bags that you can get. So they protect you from everything, right? So the zippers are mostly hidden. Um, if people try to cut them, they're, they're, they can't, you know? So it prevents them from cutting, it prevents them from slashing in any way, uh, even pulling it away from you. Since they're nice and thick and sturdy. So you can get those. That is also a very good option. And now I think, maybe a couple years ago, they only had like one type that you can get, but now they have several types. They have like a purse type, they have sling bag, the sling bag types, they have backpacks. So you can get one that's theft proof and that can really put your mind at ease and they are very reasonable too. So definitely consider getting a theft proof, but definitely have a small bag that you can carry that's close to your body when you're out and about doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's just stay safe, guys. Really be, be safe. And the fifth thing, we are down to number five already. Wow. It is activated charcoal. Activated charcoal. All right. So activated charcoal comes in many different forms. You can get it in a powder form. You can also get it in a capsule form. And I'm I'm told that you can get it in a liquid form too. <clears throat> I've had the, the capsule form and I've had the powder form. Um, why? Why activate the charcoal? Because if you are here in Ghana and you're eating these nice foods that your body isn't used to and the spices and the pepper and 
all of this good stuff <laughs> and your stomach is angry at you. It's angry. Um, <laughs> you're going to need some backup. All right. So yeah, I mean, I had stomach issues around week two. Yep. For about two or three weeks when I first got here because it's just natural, right? It happens. It doesn't happen everywhere I travel, but it happens a lot of places that I travel to, okay? Your body is just trying to get used to everything, and the food is one of those things. A lot of bacteria is floating around here, so you never know when you're going to just pick up something and you don't expect it and you don't realize it, okay? Um, activated charcoal. So there's a couple things that we need to know about it. It's easy to get and easy to find. You can also get it on Amazon. You can get it in your local health food stores. Here in Ghana, I've seen it even in the markets and stuff. So they even use it for different things like brushing your teeth, for whitening and lightening parts of your body. Um, but it's used for a lot of stuff, okay? So it's easy to find. What it does when you ingest it is it traps the toxins okay anything that's not supposed to be there those bad toxins it will it will absorb it and it will trap it in your gut so that it does not absorb into the rest of your body and really make you sick so that is what you want okay it's definitely what you want it to do um now the disclaimer is when you're taking these and it's trapping everything what do you think is gonna happen when it's just like this yeah, you're gonna be constipated. Yeah. So you have to drink a lot of water when you're taking these, all right? Make sure you drink tons of water during this process and at least you will get better, all right? And it's, it's, it's a healthy um, form of medicine, basically, that will help you get better, all right? Um, there's another <laughs> disclaimer for using activated charcoal. I like to carry the capsules, of course, because it's easy. Um, and you just take one capsule like three times a day. Now, whether you should take it before meals or after meals, do some research on it because there are a lot of different things being said. But just take it like probably before meal or after your meal and then and um, it'll, it'll help you a lot. So the disclaimer is, is that if you don't take it within the first 12 to 24 hours of exposure, it's not gonna work, all right? It needs to happen within that time frame. So say for instance, you go out to dinner at five o'clock, you eat something that doesn't agree with you, by 10 o'clock at night, you're up sick. That's about five hours, right? It's okay. Go ahead, start your first process. Go ahead and take one of your activated um, activated charcoal pills and then continue the next day um, with the others, you know, with your meals, all right, or after your meals. So, but the key is to get the process started, to get it in your system within a 12 to 24 hour time frame. all right? Definitely do your research on it, guys. Um, because when I first got it, I heard about it and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I'm going to buy it. And I was just doing whatever. Like I had no idea that there was a time frame. Um, you know, even as far as how I should be taking them, I was just doing it. And sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't. So if you do it correctly, it will work for you and it's very good and very effective. So just do a little bit of research, but keep in mind the time frame that you need to take it based on when you were exposed. So be paying attention when you're eating out and what you're eating and how you're eating it and where you're getting it from. So be paying attention to that so that you can you know, help yourself if you need to. Um, and too, that's also good to do is if you have to go to the doctor, the hospital, God forbid, but you'll know what happened. You know, you'll be able to tell people what, what happened and what you think the cause could be. So, there we go. <laughs> Five essential items that I think you need. Um, there's lots of other stuff that you can get that you can bring with you, of course. But um, I do believe that those things are the top, should be at the top of your list. Make sure you pack them 
and come to Ghana and enjoy and love it and fall in love with it just like um a lot of people including me have done and enjoy your enjoy your stay here in Ghana okay all right so let me know in the comments what do you think about this top five list and if you have any other suggestions of things that you think people should bring please put it in the comments let us know look us up you know we all in this together all right and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Now I